so yeah, January 6th, it's past, I don't know, feel, feels like, you know, the tweet crescendo hit yesterday, and then today, it's like, it, it's like we've already moved on, it's like, all right, year's over, um, yeah, Bice ended up releasing a statement that was kind of word salad, it, it was like an apology, like, what happened was terrible, but, da 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 which of course is like, you know, anybody who uh, knows anything about apologies, or... Any, any, you know, anything after the but is refuting what your initial statement said. Uh, so anyway, yeah, our, of course, all of our delegation voted for, to overturn the elections. They're continuing to echo various aspects of the big lie that there was massive election fraud, even though, of course, nobody questioned House and Senate races, just the presidential race, because in, and only in the states where, uh, Trump lost. I mean, you know, it's just, it's incredibly stupid. Also, the thing, the biggest thing about the whole big lie, and then we can just move on because this has been relitigated 10,000 times, is it's like all elections are managed locally. All of them. They all are managed via like county election boards and, you know, old folks that are appointed through some archaic process. The idea that you could get thousands of these people to, like, collude to, like, flip a whole bunch of districts is just, it's insane. It, with nobody finding out, right? With no paper trail. I mean, it's just like, it's like faking the moon landing, right? It's like, yeah, you got 60,000 employees at NASA to all, like, simultaneously lie and say, we, did, we faked it. Like, no, that's not how it works. Or, like, my doctor who hinted that China had a vaccine last year. It's like, you can't roll out a vaccine to a billion people and nobody finds out. You can't. I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. Same with this. There are, our election system is like completely decentralized. You would need thousands and thousands and thousands of people to all collude simultaneously. Uh, and it just, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. And we look at all this stuff and of course, court challenges, all that stuff. Congressional delegation and senators continue to suggest that there is reason to be concerned. And then there was this, which, you know, Reese posted this, which I, I really uh, rather liked. Tom Cole is interesting. So he is the uh, representative for uh, Norman, Southern Oklahoma, um, stuff like that. And Cole sort of bills himself as like a moderate, right? He's been there forever. He's kind of an old school, you know, pro industri military industrial complex, like funding for war and all that shit, uh, kind of uh, Republican. So Tom Cole, this author claims he's really smart, whatever. So he votes, you know, for the insurrection. He votes to overturn the election. And so the argument is that it speaks to the naked political calculations that Cole and other Republicans like him made. It's a calculation many of these Republicans made for years as Donald Trump took over the party, and it's one that has reminded me so often of the opening lines in Kurt Vonnegut's Mother Night, we are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful about what we pretend to be. And so like this to me is, is like kind of the indictment of and, like, Joe Biden's speech, if you caught it, it was all right. Like, he hit most of the right notes. But it's just, like, I think it's the caution we have to have about this, like, moderate Republicans. Because, and, and these, like, smart folks in the middle who kind of, like, agree with a lot of it and will go along with it because it works for them right now. I mean, at some point, you got to believe these folks. And, you know, when they're okay with doing running cover for political violence. It's a bad deal. It's a real bad deal. Uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, you know, there are a lot of people that would hang out with and support Tom Cole. And I think we got to be real careful about that in, in this juncture. And I'm not sure even the Democrats are getting that message. And that is a uh, reason to be real damn concerned moving forward. And then the last reason is because of this shit. Uh, so Pelosi, I guess, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, one of the most powerful Democrats in the history of our country, like, 
does this thing where the cast of Hamilton sings a song about the insurrection. I mean, it's just, it is wild that, like, on one hand, you will call this stuff terrorism, you will call this an insurrection, all of which I think it meets the basic definition of political violence right i mean you went to a place and you tried to kill the vice president of the country like i you know like that that that's a reasonable definition to me of political violence um and then you're gonna have the cast of hamilton sing a fucking song about it like what it, it is just i mean it, it's beyond laughable and really scary too because it just to me suggests a level of not taking this shit seriously that i it's just it's crazy it's crazy like i i don't know how you i don't know how you were in that building that day with hordes of people storming like the halls beating up police officers doing all this stuff and your answer your reflection a year later is hey let's sing a song from hamilton like and uh I don't know like think about it it's it's just it's it's crazy it's wild thanks for watching our video please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content if you want to engage with us follow us on facebook twitter twitch and instagram